sit and have a beer or How you going there? Diesel from Get Around Olds, Camper Trailer Traveling, and thanks for joining us. Now I'm just packing up and getting everything ready for a camping trip uh, starting a couple of days time. And just as I was about to start getting this one organised, I've actually remembered I've actually had quite a few questions from people about what do you do for a bloody dunny when you're out camping. So here we are, so this is, uh, this is what we use. It won't be a long video today, okay, I'm just going to tell you about what we use, um, the chemicals we use to go with it, and I'll just actually show you how it functions. Um, I'll just be upfront and let you know there's not gonna, I'm not going to be using this thing today, okay? There's no poo and that sort of stuff in it. I'm just going to use a bit of water and then I'll actually uh, show you at the end um, how I actually pour in the chemicals. But anyway, enough crapping around, let's get into it, eh? So this one here is the one we took around Australia with us. We took quite a few and the one we kept coming back to was the Thetford one. Now there is a, a few different sizes and ultimately the size depends on, you know, how much... Uh, luggage you can carry so to speak okay now obviously referring to the the base here now this one is the 365 which i by memory or at the time was the biggest one you can get now this one's done the job for us of course we've got the the two young kids and um we've never had a problem with it i've got to be honest with you it was it was really good it do, it doesn't stink at all there is honestly there is no smell whatsoever only smell you have is the smell of chemicals and, um, and they feel and they smell really nice as well and, but I'll, I'll go through those in a little bit all right so real simple you got the lid there you got the seat okay and I'll actually show you a bit here in a sec and at the back here this is the flusher and that's just the cap you take off there to fill up the top bit On the front here, this is basically a lever that uh, that opens up the latch, so to speak. And this one here, as you can see there, it's a green light. Obviously, when it start when it when it goes red, that just means it's full and it's time to empty it. In regards to how long it lasts, clearly it depends on how on how often you use it. But for us, uh probably lasting you know maybe a few days or even up to a week sometimes as well so um this one does hold a fair bit i'll chuck up on the screen uh how many liters it is but um yeah at at worst even, even if you're using it frequently you would definitely get a few days with the use out of it that's for sure now what we're going to do now is just going to chuck some water in here and, then, and i'll show you how the flusher works so philly mart's pretty simple now, when I do this uh, in a minute for you, there is a percentage of solution and a percentage of water to use, okay? Check the cap back on. So let's just assume you're gonna use it. All you do is make sure you remember to pull open the latch, okay? Um, that mistake has been made. And uh, let's just assume you've done everything you need to do. You can see there let's pull the seat up it's just a little a little uh little hose fitting or just a little fitting there give them a couple of goes or as much as you need to and you're done and just remember to close it back up of course all right so at this point let's just pretend this has turned red it's time to empty it you're at a dump point somewhere Real, real simple, turn him around the back here. That's the release latch there, just pull that. Top will come off. All you do is turn that one around there. And again, I'll point out, well, at, at this point here, um, it doesn't stink, okay, like the, it seals up really well. There you go, and, and you tip him out. 
and that's all there is to it. Now, um, depending on like depending on where you go in Australia, you know, or where you where you're camping or where you, you know, uh, what type of dump point you're using or whatever. Um, most places have hoses. Some of the uh, some of the nicer places actually have a bit of detergent, those types of things. But um, for me, whenever um, I went to empty this, I would always take some um, take some cleaner with me, and um, you know, knowing there was always a hose to wash it out and and chucking him back on there. I'm just turning him around so you can see the, the back bit. That's it. That's all there is to it. So functionality wise, again, just just recapping for you. That one there is to open up and, and fill up the top bit. This bit here is for flushing. Obviously you got your lid and you got your dining seat there for cleaning as well. And uh, you got your indicator there to tell you if it's full or not. And uh, that's really all there, all there is to it. Um, but uh, what I'll do now is I'll actually tell you what chemicals I use and uh, actually how much you might need to do it. Now apologies if I'm rushing a bit, running out of light here today. Um, so I, I'll just uh, I'll try and get this done as quick as I can for you. Now chemicals wise, we use the Thetford ones. Uh, we got these from uh, Anaconda. I'll chuck up on the screen uh, what they are and sort of how much they cost. But um, they, la they last a fair while. There's a couple of different types you can get. Uh, of these, some are, you know, basically you get a bigger bottle solution and those types of things. But these ones here have done the job for us. So basically, this one here, again by memory, that comes in a couple of different types. This is for the waste holding tank, okay? This one breaks everything down for you. And then the top one here, this one here is the, um, the flushing liquid or the rinsing liquid comes in a couple of different types as well um, we tried this one I think we tried another one as well only real difference was it just had a, um, a slightly different smell but either one they, they both they both smell pretty nice and and uh, and get the job done but adult you know there's quite a few toilets on the market if you want one that doesn't smell um, this one's the one for you that's for sure as to how much you use on the bottle here it says uh, use a hundred mil per 15 litres of flush uh, and this is a one litre bottle, so you can do your own math on there to work out how much you need. And this one here is 150 mil per 20 litres of uh, liquid going in the waste tank there. i this one up now. Um, hope it was helpful for those of you that have been asking about it. And, uh, and my honest opinion is um, it's been great for us and I definitely recommend it to, to anyone I know. This is an unbiased opinion, okay? This is, this is my experience or our experience. I'm not getting paid to doing this sort of stuff. No one's paying me to um, do a review in a bloody toilet, um, obviously. But uh, I honestly, yeah, recommend it and um, to anyone I know, that's for sure. So, um, you know, the price wise, I'll chuck up on the screen what it is now. Anyway, I'll wrap him up here now. Thanks for watching again. Um, if there's any questions uh, you got, either chuck them in the comments or. Um, or uh, direct messages on socials, either Facebook or um, Instagram there, and um, I'll get back to you, um, as I always do. So from next week on, once the, the videos will start rolling again every week, and uh, wrap them up here. I'm Dean from Genre Oz, Camper Trailer Traveller, and thanks for watching. Cheers. All right.